Hello, I'm Richard. I'm here at the seaside. What do you think of when you think of the seaside? Sunshine, warmth, surfing in the sea? Well, I'm here at Western Supermare. It's four degrees and I'm going to build a sandcastle. Let me tell you a bit more about myself. I like science and maths. I like cheesy pop music. I like the outdoors and I love making stuff. Not bad. I'm here at Western Supermare Sand Sculpting Festival and I'm going to find out a little bit more. So they've let me in and I've brought my bucket and spade and I'm going to find out how these castles are made. So now that is a sand castle. It doesn't look much like a castle to me. I think that one's Jurassic Park, but as I look around I can see King Kong, Pirates of the Caribbean. I think that's Gollum, there's Harry Potter. Da these are amazing. I'm going to see if someone will let me join in. Just give me a job. I'll make some balloons. What are you sculpting here? This looks fun. Uh, well, I'm doing superheroes, so it's, uh, it's Batman and the Hulk in uh, having a little bit of a tussle. Amazing. So these are sculptures made solely out of sand. Is there anything else? Is there any glue in there or anything? No, it's basically sand and water compacted into wooden forms and it makes it, uh, it gives it a denser consistency than, than normal sand. I can see some wires in now, is that a secret? Uh, no, they're there to stop the seagulls standing on it. Uh, I thought it might be some sort of secret structure. <laughs> what, happens, what happens if it rains? Uh, it's pretty good sand for absorbing the rain. Uh, there's, uh, there's no clay content in it because it's beach sand, so literally the, the rain will just be absorbed into the surface, gently go down through it and, and come out the bottom. Amazing. So how long does this take then? If you started yesterday, you're quite quite far through already. How long does it take start to finish? Uh, this piece will probably take about three and a half to four days. Apparently my first words were JCV Digger. I live here in Bristol, near this. One of the oldest bridges of its kind in the world. This was built way before we had mobile phones and diggers and massive cranes, but it's still used every day by hundreds of people like me. You voted for a mini skateboard ramp. So here's my version, and this is how you make it. What you will need, you will need a cornflakes packet, a smaller packet, which fits inside this one, some straws, preferably some fat straws, some sharp scissors, some sticky tape, and some glue. You won't need a cat, but you might need a felt tip pen or some stickers. You might want to get an adult to help you with this because it is quite tricky. And one little tip here, I've made a little extra sticking out over the side and this is because I'm going to make a rail for the back of this ramp. So now we've got our ramp and our rail at the back. If I wanted to make a half pipe, all I'd have to do is get a second one like this and use some sticky tape to stick them together. Here we go, we've got a half pipe for our mini skateboard. Thank you for watching. I would love to be part of your show. I'm Richard Cambridge. Please get in touch.